Take a chill pill. Wow. Best acting SRK has ever done. Just Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction with Corbin. I'm Rick. I just like finding these. Uh, I go on Etsy and I just look up Bollywood. Because I, I was like, just what's coming up for Bollywood on Etsy? And there's a whole bunch of mugs. Most of them Shah Rukh Khan. That's awesome. So that one you didn't create. You found that. Yeah, I found that one. Yeah. That's amazing. Did you just sit on? What are you doing? Wow. Everything's all kerbobbled. It's, it is kerbobbled. Why is there such a... This Because this chair was moved. Wow. See, look. It was the orgy we had in here. That must have been it. Damn. Sorry. <sighs> well, you know, that's what happens when Renvir gets naked. What do you want from us? Yeah, exactly. Uh, today we got a, this is actually a Brahmastra video, but it's behind the climax, a little behind the scenes action for you from the- I like that. The hit film. Behind the climax. <laughs> uh, the climax. Uh, well, you want to be behind the climax in certain situations, but- I'm not going to take that no, road. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, but anyways, if you haven't watched Brahmastra, go watch, obviously, Brahmastra. Yeah, why haven't you seen Brahmastra? You probably should have watched it in theaters. Yeah, so you really should have. Better experience. So get in your time machine and go back uh, and see it. But I think it's on Hotstar now. I think that's where... It, your mom's on Hotstar. I think that's where it landed. But um, uh, if you haven't seen our review, you can go watch that as well. I liked it. Rick loved it, right? That yep. was the uh, consensus. That was the consensus. I Visuals loved were it. fantastic. I kissed the screen. He didn't. I was there. He's Got a liar. Up, walked up, kissed it. No tongue. That would have been inappropriate. Here we go. <laughs> I want to do that so bad. Yeah. Challenging sequence in our family has been our climax. Any of the Marvel background work you did was on a set like that or no? It is a 20 minute action. No, it was partially like that. Emotional, it was actually mostly practical effects with some, some green screen. I want to do wire stunts so bad. I think it'd be yeah. so fun. The climax is the high point of the film, and as you can see, uh, I don't think this kind of clip has ever happened before. Shiva! <laughs> the first time I'm starting a film with the climax, it's the first time I'm doing a film like this. It's the first time wow, I'm started with the climax. <laughs> shooting it just against blue everywhere. Because the kind of lighting that we needed to create and the kind of stunts we needed to pull off would be much better served on an interior stage. The feeling of Brahmastra part one is the ethos is um, love is the light.
was fun. I like, man, I to be I've never been on a, a set of this magnitude, obviously. Mm-hmm. Few, I mean, few have. <laughs> yeah. And, and I've never done background work either, so. Um, no, I have. Did I? You no, were I there. Did, I think early on. Oh, yeah. uh, anyways. Uh, yes, I was there. <laughs> but the fact that something like this is so massive and you really get to see the movie magic part of it yeah. being there because that's not what you saw on screen. No. Everything that you saw on screen was recreated yeah. via movie magic. Yep. Practical effects, rain coming down, fake rain, um, grass, like the stunt work, the, them going on, and then everything else is CGI. And I wonder, one of the things I'd love to know or just be a fly on, on the wall for is the decisions that are made pre-production about what will be practical and what will be digital and how often that changes when they actually get to the to the day and how many things they like because there were some moments there like at the one moment she opened up her shield and they had a light panel there to get the lighting because someone made the decision it's going to be easier to do that lighting that way than try to add that lighting later and all of those decisions it's just the complexity is staggering yeah of what has to transpire and then you have schmoes like us watching it, and if the slightest thing is off, <laughs> we're like, yeah, no. Could tell that that was uh, I saw bad that. CGI. Hey, I saw it. Hey, hey. I knew it was CGI. I'm better than you. <laughs> <laughs> but what amazes me, it's too, all dumb. That's what we're trying to is say. Not, not just those kinds of things where it's a full sound stage and total blue or green screen, but like when I... What had you had mentioned when Doctor Strange? Yeah, you on Doctor Strange. The thing about Doctor Strange that was so strange was Parachin. when we walked to set. Mm-hmm. It was an exterior that they had made. We were on the lot, and uh, and they had made the alleyway basically really practical with not a lot of blue or green screen. And there was some back there at the very back end. There was a big green screen. And there were a couple of small green screens, but it was full sky above us. Mm -hmm. And then when I saw the finished product, I'm like, they made it look like we were in a metropolis and we were on one just street. And I'm I'm pretty sure what they did was they took that because when you do those kinds of shots, they'll have you stand still and they'll take a, a dead shot of the space and then they'll do another shot and get a panorama of the space so that they can do like a cut and paste and turn one street into four or five streets yep. and then just move the people around. Yep. Incredible. That's why VFX artists are, yeah. should be paid really, really well. Yep. Uh, Marvel, looking at you. Uh, <laughs> and why And why so much of the budget is the visual effects. Especially nowadays. I mean, can imagine. I imagine more than half the budget of Avatar was... VFX. Oh, my stars, yes. More than half. Yeah. And the technological advancements are insane. Like, did you hear about what Jordan Peele said about the cinematography for Nope? I saw him say something. What do you say? All of the night shots were filmed during the day. Yeah. 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 I I did see that. That they used two cameras simultaneously to capture infrared light and then put it... It's flawless. I had no question in my mind as to whether or not they were night shoots. I actually feel that that's done a lot. It makes sense. Why wouldn't you? Yeah, it's, your lighting is better and you can recreate. I mean, you can po- in post make stuff nighttime. You're not screwing with people's timelines on the crew and the cast. No. You are safer because people are in daylight rather than in the dark and they're not sleep deprived or messing with their sleep cycles. Like that, that the climax, from what I remember, was all at night. All at night. But it's obviously they don't exactly. have to deal with that. Versus back in the day... Like many of you would know, that's legendary. They made shirts for the cast and crew of The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, (laughs) that said, I survived Helm's Deep. Because that was three months of night shoots. Ugh, that sounds terrible. Three straight months. Viggo Mortensen said we were vampires when it was all done. Three months of not just night shoots, wet night shoots. Because it's raining for the majority of that sequence. I mean, worth it, obviously. One of the most iconic films and one of the most iconic battles of all Uh, time. It's magnificent. But Um, my stars. But yeah, that would... (laughs) Could you imagine? Three months in the rain in New Zealand. New Zealand would be cool, but yeah, at night and in the rain. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. That is insane. Anyways. That was fun. fun. Um, I'm hoping that part two doesn't take too long to come out. Obviously, take enough time to 
make sure it's good. Yeah. Make sure the VFX are up to par. But right. Not 15 years that it took you to make the first one. I would imagine they've got to think about the summer of 2024 and not to take much longer than that. And that would be fast. That That'd would be, be real quick. That'd be real quick. Because look how long it took Wakanda. Yeah, but they had a death. And so they had True. Death. They had to revamp everything. Yeah, to but redo Avatar. Everything. Well, yeah, but also nobody asked for part two either. Or th three or four. Yeah. They're all <laughs> coming. <laughs> Maybe. Have it's, you seen the new trailer? Yeah. It looks looks good. Not a surprise. We'll, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see how it is. Anyway, anyways, fantastic video. Let us know what the videos we can react to down below. Josh!